Hey, shalom, misery, and we back. So wait a minute, we just seen a back few, a few um, comments. So we've seen a few comments on Periscope. We know we're live on the radio, and we're live on Periscope for those who um, ain't able to get into the radio or whatever, want to be a little more mobile. Um, they said that one of the comments was, it isn't God's laws, but an opinion. Huh? So you know what? We have to prove that question to be false. Because right. I know a lot of times, like I said, a lot of folks been, um, Periscope is a Christian um, group that owns that. That's why you see a lot of churches and ministries and whatnot on there. And I know in church, no matter how long you've been there, morning service, afternoon service, some of y'all going back tonight, they don't teach God's laws in there. Not so when you read about homosexuality and say it's wrong, well, it's somewhere in the Bible. I think it's wrong. Maybe that was old and wrong in the New in the Old Testament, not in the New. It's confusing. We're gonna get it in both. So let's get it in both. Let's start all the way towards the beginning of the Bible. We don't work our way out to the end. <laughs> right? So we don't start in Leviticus. All right. right. 20, in, in the first five books of Moses, too. Right, right. Same stuff that Jesus the Christ taught at us. Right. The same right. same you, thing that you, Paul was walking around right. teaching too. No, I think Jesus had the book of John. Nah. Not he didn't have First Corinthians on it. No, no. Uh -uh. Jesus didn't have the Book of Revelations. No. Did y'all know that? He had the, he had the same. He, guess what? I don't think they did. He was giving out salvation with the Old Testament. Right. Mm. Right. Mm. Mm. Leviticus the 18th chapter. So once again, there was a a, a, a gay massacre in Orlando. Fifty dead, fifty-three injured. The largest mass shooting in American. History. history. Records. <laughs> Record history. Let's see what it says about that in the Bible. Leviticus chapter 18 verse 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. Now I want you to call the book, the chapter, the verse again because um, I know when you just read it, they said, not my Jesus. It was typing. That's not in the Bible. I know somebody probably said, what version of the Bible is that? That's Maybe game, even right? now they say, guess what? The Bible ain't accurate. Man wrote that. Uh, it was good when it was um, John 3.16. Yeah, yeah. It but now we start getting it. God is love. Yeah, with God is love. Or it's even better when it's talking about money. But now we're talking about changing your life, what you do, how you operate. Yeah, um, the Bible is um, not a, a true book now. But let's read what God said before you was around and myself read. It says, thou shalt not Call lie. Um, the book Leviticus in, chapter 18, verse 22. So you is reading out the Bible. You should, the Bible. You, you should this, ain't this, Steve, this ain't Steve Harvey book. No, nah, this ain't, I ain't making this up. This ain't Steve Jobs' life. No, okay, okay, okay. okay. It says, thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. So you man that God made with testicular fortitude. fortitude. <laughs> Good word. Yeah. That, that's yeah, a little yeah, bit clean. Yeah, that's a little bit clean. Right. Yeah. You do not supposed to lay down sexually with another man with testicular fortitude. Mm -hmm. Bring it out. The way you would deal with a woman. That's what God said. It's against God. He says, shall not. Don't do it. It's a no no. Read it again. And if you're doing it, stop it. Right. Oh, we don't get on that. It's repentance. It says in Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. It is abomination. It's the highest level of disgust with God. Let's go to Leviticus 2013. Right, right. And ain't the only place yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, because you know they praise out. You got to read that one. Skip. Take it out of context. Leviticus chapter Ask your preacher what that means. Tell him um, you're not giving him another damn time, even though you're pulling time. Tell him uh, you better explain this to me. What do this mean? If that's not saying that God said do not be gay, what do it mean then, preacher? How, challenge these um, false prophets. That's what I call them. That's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible call them. Try every spirit. Challenge them. Watch this. Read that. Leviticus 20, chapter 13. 20, verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lies with a woman. So if you laying down with a man and what you dinner, you kissing on a rough man neck, neck holding hands, grabbing his backside. We gotta make it kind of vivid and plain to him. What you mean, lie with what we laying down in the bed? I laid in the bed with my brother when we were sleeping. No, laying down sexually. Let's be clear. Laying down sex the same way you will handle a woman, you handle it a man in the same way sexually. Read. Both of them 
have committed an abomination. You, it don't matter if you're the man in the relationship or the woman in that relationship. Right. It don't matter if you're on the top or you're on the bottom. Give it Both of you, <laughs> give it no receiving yeah. to make plain to you. It says it's an abomination. I mean, God is disgusted with it. He hates it. Do you understand that, brothers? So you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians, you Israelites, you're supposed to have, this is against your cousin. Guess what? You don't supposed to be tolerant of this. Right. You don't supposed to accept this. This is against your beliefs, your ways. So watch this. It says that both of them have committed an abomination. Uh -huh. They shall surely be put to death. What happened last night? They was put to death. Judgment. The Bible is a true book. I know y'all think it's all about fun and games and fairy tale and blessings and, and whatnot. The Bible is a true book, and the Lord is holding you accountable to this, whether you want to acknowledge it or not. Because a lot of folks think, well, I don't believe that. That avoids that judgment at the bottom. Now, and, and just to make sure you get the understanding, because we know a lot of people out here listening don't have the wisdom to understand what we're saying. Right. We're not telling you to go out there and start putting gay people to death. We are not telling you that at all. God says that the judgment for them that do that is to be put to death, and he'll take care of it. Right. You don't have to do anything. You do not go out and lay your hands on anybody like that. I'm That's against say. the law. And Watch we don't this. condone that. Exactly. God said, vengeance is mine. He'll take care of that. You real, don't have to. Real quick, rap Amos real quick. I'm glad you said that because somebody will sit up here and say, oh, y'all, Israelites, there they go again telling you to kill. We ain't told to kill nobody. We read in the book of the Lord told us to obey. That's right. Be subject to the powers. And it's not okay. Vengeance said he will repay. That's what Christ said he's coming to do. He will repay. So watch this. Amos 3 and 1 real quick. Amos. Back of what we just read. In the law. That's right. In the law. Read. Amos chapter 3 verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Oh yeah, so-called black man and black woman. <laughs> Latino man and woman, native any man and woman, you are the children of Israel. This is the word that the Lord is speaking against you that do who do not want to repent. Against you who do not want to hear what this is coming out of the scriptures. Read. O children of Israel, against the whole family. He's talking about all of y'all. All of us. All of us. Read. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Bring it saying, out. You only have I known. Now we read that in the Bible. Over and over again, you hit the, like I said, this Bible is not a book of religion. This is the constitution to make plain to you of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, you Israelites. This is our guideline, our rule book. Our one, two, three, our ABC. Right. To how yeah, we I live. To life. God said that he only knows us. Yes, he made everybody. That's true. 100% true. But because you made him, it's he it, it, it cold like that. I made all these folks over here, but I only like these folks right here. Uh, only you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Yes, I only you. I only like you. Lord, what about us? Uh, did I tell you to speak? I'm talking about them right here. All y'all right here. <laughs> he's God. Who can say he's wrong for that? You can't. I can't either. Read on. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Uh -huh. Therefore, I will punish so you. So because we have that special attention, that special position with relationship. God, that special relationship, it comes with a cost. That cost is, if you do not want to listen, I'm going to punish you. Right. That's a true father dealing with his child. Right. You don't want to listen? I'm going to whoop your butt. Last night, the Lord... Whooped 50 butts. Plus 50. <laughs> plus 50. 100 something. 100 something. Of our unrepentant brothers and sisters. And guess what this correlates with too. Because we read it earlier. It says you only have I known. Therefore I will punish you. We read earlier in 1 Peter 4. The judgment of God has to begin with us. Why? Because we got that special relationship with God. That's why he's passing out judgment on us first. That's why when we do crime. We are getting, what you say, gorilla years oh, yeah. for the crimes that we commit. That's why crack and what is that, uh, crack and cocaine mm -hmm. on, is the same type of drug. Mm -hmm. But you Negroes and Hispanics, you make it hard and you sell it. God said, okay, you want to you wanna do what this white man do mm -hmm. and sell what they sell? I'm going to give you 20 years for what, they, what you got. Now, wait a minute. Is we making that up? Is that not true? Do we get 
equal justice here? I'm going to just stop <laughs> on this. Stop right there. Do we get equal justice? It just happened. We just saw it slap us in the face the other day. Bring it out. Didn't that guy named Brock Turner? Oh, uh, y'all forgot about Brock Real Turner, quick. right? Real quick. Brock Turner got what is called a smack on the wrist. Mm. A smack on the wrist. But then the other young man down there who's 14 years old. 14 years old, they threw a rock at a uh, Donald Trump rally. He, they tried him, he's 14, as an adult. And guess what? They, they, they're they looking for the fullest extent of the law. Put him in prison. At he's, going, they want to, he's going there. And guess what he is? He's a so-called Hispanic. Yep. So Northern Kingdom, it's about you. And Northern Kingdom, because that's what you're referring to in the Bible as well, as well as in Israel, right? You um, Hispanics, Latinos. It's time for y'all to wake up. I know y'all see all this. You see um, that so-called blacks and um, get jacked up a lot. Right. And like, oh, that's them. The Lord said, oh, no, no. We the same people. We brothers. Y'all family. Mm -hmm. Y'all y'all don't come in and get some of these curses right along with us. Because that's what's upon us, according to Deuteronomy 28. Curses is upon us for being disobedient. So let's finish this up real quick. Verse 2. Amos chapter 3, verse 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. He's going to punish us because he told us in Leviticus, do not, you cannot be a homosexual. Right. So wait a minute. I know I can hear right now is some lesbian saying, well, hey, y'all, you ain't nothing in the Bible to say you can't be a lesbian. Right, right. Because there was some women that got shot up in there. You know who it was? I, I, yeah. I, I know we kept saying sodomite. <laughs> but in the Bible, we're about sodomitis as well. So watch this. Let's go to Romans. Let's go to the New Testament. Because let's say, oh, that was in the Old Testament. Jesus, let's see. Jesus changed all yeah, that. Yeah, blood of Jesus. I know somebody speaking tongues all over. They're spitting all over their phone right now. <laughs> right, right, right. Watch this. Romans, let's start at verse 18. Romans chapter 1, verse 18. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven. No, it's said the wrath of Satan. The wrath of God. And church is selling you a bad bag of goods. They make it, they understand that so-called blacks and Hispanics by the millions do not read. They know you don't read. You know how they know that you don't read? Because you show up every damn Sunday. <laughs> that's, that's how you know. You come, you show up Sunday and empty your pockets. It's like, yeah, we got a, a house full of idiots. Let's build a bigger house. Uh, uh, we got two thousand. Let's build a mega house for idiots. And guess what? We was in there too. But when this word hit our ears, we had to consider. That's what we're telling you, brothers, you sisters, you lost brothers and sisters, to consider what the Lord is saying. It's high time to wake the hell up. So watch this real quick. Um, start at verse 18. It says, for the wrath of God. The wrath of God, which he showed an example of it last night. At, at um, Post Club in Orlando, read. It's revealed from heaven against all ungodliness. Because was they down there keeping the Lord's Sabbath? No, no, not at all. Was they down there celebrating a high holy day? No. Was they down there teaching our people to repent and to come out of this the ways of the world? No, not at all. They was down there living it up in their sin. Backing it up on another man. Yeah. Living it up in their sin. So, so watch this real quick. What happened? It says, for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness uh -huh. and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Watch this, read on. Because that which may be because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. Mm -hmm. Didn't we just read it earlier? The Bible is redundant in Isaiah, in Psalms 19. What did it say? It said, the Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. Mm -hmm. We just read that earlier. So guess what? For all the Christian folks out there, for all the people that think we teach and hate, the Bible has never changed. Exactly. Never changed. Never. It says the same thing in the old and the new. So let's read that again. It says in Romans chapter 1 verse 19, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. For God hath showed it unto them. God has shown it. Guess what? We read it earlier that when God showed judgment, Israel usually went to the prophets and said, what is going on? Mm -hmm. And the prophets of the Lord, they didn't give you their emotional feelings. They didn't give you feel good. They, they didn't super, um, give you um, sweet words. They said, thus saith the thus Lord. Thus saith the Lord, as it is written. As it is written. And Israel behind that repented. And that's what we're trying to get you, brothers and sisters, to, to repent. 
come out of this lesbian homosexual lifestyle that's anti life. Anti. So watch this. Can we jump down to verse 25 real verse quick? Verse 25. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Hey, it wasn't you, black man, black woman, Hispanic man and woman. No. You didn't come up with what is known as Christianity today. No, not you. You didn't come up with the Roman Catholic Church, though. No, that wasn't you either. You didn't come up with Scientology, all these various understandings. Who changed the truth of the God into a lie? That's a heavy question right there. Who God. made you say that God made you? Yeah, you was born this way. Who made you have to tolerate Bring it out. what you have to see on TV? Right. Because you ain't broadcasting Can we no read TV that tolerance shows? again if you don't mind real quick? Because some of them probably came in late. They telling us, Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians, to have to be gay tolerance. Mm -hmm. To tolerate. When you tolerate something, you tolerate pain. So what pain is being inflicted upon us that they're telling us to tolerate? The gay stuff. Be gay tolerant. What is the tolerance? Tolerance. Mean? Willingness to accept feelings, habits, or beliefs that are different from your own. Your belief is what we read in Leviticus, the 18th chapter. Right. Your belief is what we read in Leviticus 2013. Black man, black woman, Hispanic man and woman, you Israelite. That's your belief. Who changed that truth of God into a lie? Was that, was that Satan? Was that the devil that changed that into a lie? <laughs> the, devil was, the devil was not in the Supreme Court and said all equal rights for all people on earth, a man can marry a man and a woman can marry a man, woman. It wasn't Satan sitting on the bench doing that. God's asking you blacks and Hispanics a question, which, and we here as the prophets trying to get you to wake up to it. Find out that question. Find out the answer to that question. We read in the same Bible that y'all claim that y'all read and that y'all love in the book of John 8.32 that you should know the truth and that the truth shall make you free. That's what we're giving you on there, the truth. And you know, like the good old said that they say, Captain Gabosh, the, the truth hurts. The truth hurts. The truth hurts. I got something for him real quick. The truth hurts. Don't be the same thing that the truth always feel good. When you the truth, the truth is a feel good. No, sometimes the truth do hurt. Mm -hmm. What you got for me, Cap? Uh, give me the book of Psalms, chapter 40. Psalms, chapter 40, read verse, uh, we get verse, eight, verse 8. The book of Psalms, chapter 40, let me, let me verse 8. You. Let me get that with you real quick. All right. Psalms, chapter 40, verse 8. Let's, see, let's read something about Christ. Psalms, chapter 40, verse 8. I delight to do thy will. Matter of fact, start at verse 7. That's verse the 7. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. That it is, is written uh -huh. of me. It is written of me. That's talking about Jesus Christ. Real. I delight to do thy will. So anybody that's a Christian, your will should be what the most high will is, which is the keeping of his commandments. Right. Read it again, verse 8. I delight to do thy will. Which is what? Oh my God, yea, thy law. Is within my heart. So you're a Christian, quote, what would Jesus do? Jesus would keep the law. <laughs> right. Now right. let's get some understanding about <laughs> right. Jesus Christ. Let's, matter of fact, let's get the precept on verse 7. Let's read that same thing we just read in Hebrews now, in the New Testament for the Christians. Let's All get right. that. Hebrews chapter 10. Yep. Yes, sir. Let's read uh, verse, set, verse 7. T Hebrews 10. Verse Hebrews seven. chapter 10, verse 7. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It's it is about written. the same person we're speaking about, Jesus Christ. It is written of what? It is written of me uh -huh. to do thy will, O God. I come in the volume of the book. Now let's get the mindset of Jesus Christ. Let's get to chapter 13. Let's read verse 8. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. Mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today. And forever. Read it again. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. So his thought never changed. Right. How right. did God feel about the homosexuals back then? That's right. the word we call them today, all the sodomites. How did he feel them back then? Let's go back into history and let's find out. What happened? Let's go to the book of uh, 2 Peter chapter 2. Let's read verse 6. The thought never changed. Now, all of a sudden, we call it the gift of God. Let's see what God called. Let's see what God did about that back then. Second Peter, chapter 2, verse 6. 
and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah That's into, in the book of Genesis. What right, did he do to right. those cities? Read and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes. Into ashes. That's talking about with fire. Read on. Condemned them. He condemned. He did what? He condemned them. No, he blessed them. He condemned them Read on. with an overthrow, mm. making them an example. Making them an example. They should be an example. So it's no marvel. It shouldn't shock you what happened down in that club. Exactly. You're right. supposed to be learned that. Right. It's in this book the same yesterday and forever. These words never change. So the reason why they got shot down in that club because they didn't follow those examples. Right. They were overthrown just like those five cities were overthrown in, in Sodom and Gomorrah. Same thing happening. Excellent point. Read that again. The overthrow. It says an overthrow, making them an example making unto those cities an example unto those that after should live ungodly. Guess what, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen? We got over fifty states in America, and they all resemble Sodom and Gomorrah. That's you right. think fifty was it? All matter of fact, ungodly. compare those fifty feet with fifty states. That's what's going to happen. Right. All of this whole country is going down. Mm. Let's get it. Let's get some more precepts on that. Jude. Here go one more just to back up with this precept. The thought never changed. Last one. Uh, Jude chapter, uh, Jude verse 1 chapter 1. Let's read verse 7. Verse 7. Jude chapter 1 verse 7. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner. Now, if it wasn't a big deal, why is it mentioned twice? It's all throughout the Bible. Right. Even right. as Sodom and Gomorrah. Read on. Uh-huh. And the cities about them in like manner. And the cities about them and then what? In like manner. What did God call this? Is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Read on. Giving themselves over to fornication. Fornication, something that's against marriage. Bestiality, mm -hmm. homosexuality, mm -hmm. marriage from woman to woman to woman, man from man to man, or uh, 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 what a pedophilia. Right. Fornication. Read on. And going after strange flesh. Something that God has not ordained. Woman with woman, man with man. Strange, strange flesh. Read strange. on. Are set forth for an example. Set forth for the same reason. For an example. Read on. Suffering the vengeance. You're going to suffer. Keep living that lifestyle. God says he's going to suffer. Thus saith the Lord. Read on. Suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Of eternal fire. That's what Jesus Christ is bringing. The black Messiah that's, that's written right. of the Bible. That's right. Let, I, I got to back him up on this. Go, go to Romans real quick. Back to Romans. Can you read verse 28 real quick? Mm -hmm. Because everything you brought out, God is going to amen it. Because it said, <laughs> watch this. Romans chapter 1 verse 28. And even as they did not like to return God in their knowledge. So God is acknowledging every sodomite. Understand what I'm saying. Every side of my, every lesbian, understand that what they're doing is against him. He said they don't want to retain that knowledge. They want to, hey, let's prove that. Let's jump up, because I did, we came here to show that lesbianism is wrong as well. Jump up to um, verse 26. Verse 26. Because we said in Romans. verse 25, who changed the truth of God into the life? Right, right. Read. Romans chapter 1, verse 26. For this cause, God gave them up unto vow affection. So he's fitting to tell what that vow, that nasty, disgusting affection that he's against is. Read. For even their women did change the... For who? Even their women did change their... Because earlier we've been talking about the men. Son of mine, we, we, we ain't mentioned the women yet. Right, right. So we got all the lesbians in there. Yeah, you know, it's a right for us. Y'all got to figure it out with God. No, God mentioned you too. <laughs> read again. For even their women... For even that woman, you woman, you unrepentant. Israelite woman, read. Did change the natural use. Change your natural use. The most high, can, can, can we make a point? The most high gave you breasts not for another woman, yeah. but for a man. Right. The makeup of your body is to be used by a man. It's built specifically to be handled for a man. Right. What the man is built to have is specifically meant for a woman. Mm -hmm. God don't have no confusion. He did it for a reason. Watch this, read. For the women did change their natural use into that which is against Nature. So everything that God gave you for the use of the man, you said, no, God, I'm going to give it to another woman. Watch this. Read on. And likewise, also, the man leaving the natural use of the woman. So the same thing. The same way the man is taking what God gave him to give to another man, you woman gave what God gave you to another woman. Read. Burned in their lust, one toward another. Burned in their lust, one toward... That's what's going on, right? So, so God's telling you that... That thought you got in your head say, I was born this way is a lie. That's right. <laughs> it's a lust. It's a lust. Exactly. Just like you want a snicker bar right now, <laughs> except for you, you want a man at some point. 
you man, at some point you want a woman. It says, the scripture command us to refrain from our lusts, right? Mm -hmm. So what, let, let's finish that verse. It says, go to their lusts, one toward another, man with man, working that which is unseemly. So wait a minute, God said it's unseemly, so explain to me why it's all on TV. Explain to me, you church goers, it's Sunday, ain't it? Why did y'all see the choir director do, getting this thing on in front of the church? Why is we seeing it everywhere when God said that thing is unseemly? Shameful. We see it everywhere. They're pushing it everywhere. I can't go to the bathroom and it won't gay stuff to be there. If I want to listen to music, it's gay stuff falling there. I want to watch a movie. It's everywhere. And God said, who changed this truth into a lie? Finish that verse. Who? It says, man with man working that which is unseemly mm -hmm. and receiving in themselves that recompense. You know what that recompense that they have received? What happened last night? Judgment. That judgment? That recompense is judgment. It says that judgment, that recompense what? That judgment is recompense of their error. That which judgment was, of their error because the lifestyle you in is off with the most at God. He does not approve it. I don't care how many folks get up and cry and say, the Lord made me this way. No, God, God said, I didn't do that. And the judgment that I'm going to bring on you is me. Let's it's expound perfect. on that when we come it's back exactly to this, for this you. commercial break. So let's go to this commercial we'll, break. We'll expound we, on that because that's heavy. We, 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 we got to get a lot of scriptures off of that one. We'll be back with the Lion's Den. Stay tuned to the Lion's Den. IUIC Radio.